guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, we got an announcement. Um, well, I mean, I guess a kind of unofficial announcement. Um, but here is going to be the live stream, right? So, uh, typically what they've been doing lately is for the anniversaries and then for the Worldwide Download Celebration. Those are essentially, obviously, the two biggest um, celebrations of the year, at least in Dokkan's mind, right? Um, LR Dual Dokkan Fest, right? Um, between those two LR Dual Dokkan Fest, we always get these streams ahead of time, right? Now, um, just throwing it out there, that this is a legit source right here. As you guys can see, not a leaker. <laughs> but uh, we will be seeing the Worldwide Download Celebration uh, live stream on this date, the 28th of August. So, exactly two weeks. In exactly two weeks. Now, I would assume the banners will be dropping, like, then, right? Like, I I, I think that, that that, like, right as the live stream is ending or during it or something um, is probably when we are going to see the units. Um, now, I believe last year, right? Uh, so, I actually went and searched. Um, I was trying to find the live stream from last year. Bandai, they actually private these streams, I believe, is what happens. So, it's a good thing that I've got... Um, uh, like my own, like I did live reacted to these. It's a good thing I did that, uh, because th this is the way we can actually watch this right now. Right. Um, because this before is just sort of like, uh, locked away, right? Like it's like a Bandai privates it. Right. Um, so this was on the 27th last year. I believe the way this happened was global actually blew it and they did a data download before this started. Um, which was, you know, our first look at LR, um, Super Saiyan, Namek, Goku, and Full Power Frieza. Um, and then JP actually did their data download after the live stream. And then I believe, oh, can I, I, I believe that the time for it, um, was a little bit like after the live stream. I, I believe it was a little bit after the live stream. Um, where, like, the JP data download actually happened, um, and then, you know, we actually, like, you know, got the banners released and stuff like that, so I would assume, you know, sometime, I believe that the live stream, the, the date that that's going to happen, right, yeah, 11 p.m. Eastern for me, I would assume that the banners would be out probably by at least, like, 2 a.m. Eastern or something like that, um, I think we'll probably see the banners, now, let's just go ahead and take a look at this. So, again, this is last year's, right? You guys can see this is this is from August 27th right here. Um, oh, no, get out of here. Uh, I want to just sort of see, like, what's the stuff they went over in this? Oh, so they they started out, because it's like, dude, like, there's, just, I've gone through so much Tokan, right? Um, wow, okay, okay, so they, they open it up by showing us that. Again, that was basically our first looks at the characters right there, right? Like, I, I don't think that they had officially shown this um, beforehand, right, so, besides the fact that the global data download sort of spoiled it, um, okay, so they go over, like, stone rewards, um, they're just going over various different things, um, then they start going over the events, right, like, the, the different story events of the free-to-play characters, I would say that the free-to-play characters really weren't too outstanding during the Worldwide Download Celebration, because we had what, the Krillin and Vegeta is, like, okay, um, I think Zarban and Dodoria, they're kind of butt, um, this Goku is okay. He's kind of, like, solid, right? Like, for sure. Um, I did enjoy the fact that they brought this guy back, right? Because if you guys were not aware, this originally was a character you get during the third anniversary, but then you were not able to get, um, past that, right? Yep, then there, of course, is the Awakening for Zarvan and Dodoria. Uh, okay, so they go over, like, support memories as well. Uh, oh, yeah, they also showed the easy A's. Oh, my God. So, we... Dude... Yeah, 27th or the 28th this year, we could see... I, now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I've seen a lot, there's been a lot of discussion about it, but, like, I, why wouldn't they easy... Like, this This is where they're going to... Uh, dude, I I really think they're easy A in this guy. Now, you could easily point to last year, right? Because last year, we were, like... I don't know if I want to say we were expecting, but a lot of us were really hoping that this guy was going to easy a now at the time who was the most recent character that had easy a last worldwide was it goku and frieza i think it was right 
uh, Goku and Frieza, who had come out in September of 2018, was the most recent EZ unit, as far as I'm aware. Right, but after this ended, after the World Adonis celebration ended, only, what, literally the next celebration, Dokkan Fest Tech Hit got his EZA. On JP, Tech Hit came out in April, um, and then, you know, Namek Goku came out in May, right? So they're a month apart. So, I, like, this guy we were kind of hoping would EZA, but he didn't end up EZing for the Namek celebration. The difference, though, is that uh, there's so many different things they could have gone with. For the major EZAs, they went, of course, with the transforming Goku and Frieza, right? Like, they decided to EZA both of them, which sort of made a lot of sense. It fit the theme, right? And then they also EZA'd LR Bardock because they wanted to kind of slide a little a bit of that Bardock stuff in there. This year, I think that they definitely could EZA, EZA this guy during the celebration, and I, I actually think they probably are going to. Um, I bet you this guy will EZA, but what... Why wouldn't they EZA this guy? Like, people who think it's way too early from the EZA, like, I, I just don't think so. Like, I, when they... LR, Goku, and Frieza was the first summonable LR that EZA'd, weren't... Yeah? Weren't they? Yeah, they were. LR, Goku, and Frieza right, was the first LR that e The summonable LR that EZA'd. So, like, they don't care. Like, this guy... If this celebration, the theme of the celebration, especially based off of the the tweet teaser that they gave us um cooler is is like you know the main focus of the celebration here so i mean if that's true then I, you can expect this guy's gonna easy a man and that's that's gonna be crazy i mean if they're gonna drop an lr final form cooler who's at least on the level of what like full power freezer was last year and then they easy a this guy as a partner like oh my god like uh, it's gonna be disgusting this guy easy a a menace. I would also like to remind people yet again, you know, different bits of Dokkan history and lore. Um, the first banner to hit top grossing on JP, on JP Dokkan, that was not a Saiyan headliner. So no uh, Saiyans, no hybrid Saiyans, no Goku Black, nothing like that, right? Uh, was Dokkan Fest Beerus, and it was Cooler's Return. I, I do not think it was a coincidence that Beerus got top grossing and Cooler had made his return. I again, if you guys were not around back in October of 2019 when this guy dropped, he was by far the best TUR. It's not like... I, I feel like Cooler on release was stronger than like Ginyu on release, right? Like this guy was insane. So him getting an EZA would be ridiculous. Um, okay, so uh, again, they're showing us the EZAs right there. So again, we can see Cooler, we can see... Um, Namek Goku, potentially easing as well. These are just going through all of his different transformations. Yeah, this could be... I mean, they, we could be seeing Final Form Cooler's transform state. The Super Saiyan Goku's transform state could be pretty sick. Uh, oh, they're going over the Global vs. JP celebration. This year, what could it be? Just a, just a Goku and a Cooler, potentially? I, I would also assume we're going to see Metal Cooler stuff too, by the way. Like, I don't think it's just going to be tied to the first movie. I think we'll be seeing um, Metal Cooler movie stuff. Okay, so we have that. Um, then they showed us... Oh, I, I, hopefully we could see this return. Um, I mean, they essentially did give us this, though, uh, in the daily Master Roshi event. There's no reason not to do it every single day, right? Uh, it gives you a really good chance to link level. Um, you get a ton of Zenny, and you get a lot of really good training items as well. Um, so it's a, it's a very, very good event. Um, okay, so we have that, and then, of course, you know, they, they introduce the major characters right here. Again, I assume this year it's going to be a Super Saiyan Goku and Final Form Cooler. I mean, we don't, we don't have the actual, like, concrete evidence, right? Like, we've not seen the artworks of them or anything like that, but, um, I think Final Form Cooler, it probably, honestly, it, it probably would be a... I could imagine it being Super Saiyan Goku, like, start of turn, and then sort of, like, the bird type thing. Like, here, I, I, I'm actually, I want to kind of pull it up. But I imagine, like, Goku's intro animation would be him, like, let, like lifting the bird off to fly, and then, bam, like, like that's it. Like, like it's intro Super Saiyan Goku is there, right? So, this right here, I, I dude, I'm telling you, I feel like we're going to see this as an intro animation in Dokkan. In two weeks here. This, you know how hard this is going to go? Oh my god. 
That's got to be the best intro in the game. Oh! <laughs> okay, all right, man. That's zoom in, man. Hold on. I, I kind of... We, we got to get that, that, that sound effect, too. The, them Toei sound effects from back in the day, they used to hit, boy. Here, let's hit this. You hear that noise? Oh, well, we got it. We got to do. You cooler do. Oh, like <laughs> my ass, man. It's, all right. <laughs> I love that. All right. Anyway, man. All right. Like ba back to business. So yeah, we're, we're gonna see the cooler and the Goku. I, th this was long, right? Like they they went over like a campaign. They go over all the units details. Again, they stupidly did the global data download ahead of time. Um, hopefully this year they don't stupidly do that where they have the, the data download ahead of time, which is always such a goddamn bummer. And then they show the animations. Oof. Yeah. The, the Namek Goku and Full Power Freeze's animations, I feel like they, they still hold up really, really well, which is cool. Um, showing all the categories. Well, this is the most replayed part of the video. Oh, it's the <laughs> the the uh, active skills. I guess not really too surprising right here. I love how YouTube do that did that, right? They added like the most replayed portion. Like, oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, is there anything else of major relevance? That's it. So I guess. Oh, and then at the end they started teasing version Z. Um, I, you know what? Version Z. I feel like has to be looked at as a major success because it introduced auto into the game. Like I, there's so many more additions, changes, improvements Dokkan can make, but like, dude, auto is so good. It's just perfect for this type of game. So it's like, I, I can't look at version Z with anything other than thinking it was a success. I, I, seriously. Like I feel like version Z was good. I, Dude, please, how many times do I have to beg for the damn friends list update, the friend system update? Um, Hopefully, at some point, we'll be getting that soon. Yeah, but they tease that. So maybe we could see, like, um, they would tease, like, potentially maybe, like, new changes or something like that. I mean, speaking of the friend system update, uh, I think that something like this would be the perfect time uh, to introduce a friend system update, man. Um, but all right, there we go. So that is what we can expect to see uh, in this live stream that we're going to be getting on the 28th, we'll see the major units. We'll probably see the free-to-play characters. We might see the EZAs. It's going to be pretty exciting. Um, again, there's a lot of major characters I could EZA. Maybe LR, STR, Full Power Frieza. Again, STR, Namek, Goku. STR, Cooler. Potentially other Cooler characters. Maybe the Cooler Armored Squadron uh, could get an EZA, right? Um, let me actually pull that unit up. They don't, the, the thing that sucks is they don't really share, uh, the thing I always hated about that is they don't really share nearly anything with Cooler, right? Like, I, I was so, so, they do, they've done such a better job with Panty units recently. This character right here, join forces, terrifying conquerors, target Goku, special pose, and space traveling warriors, okay. Um, I would love to see this character be super good. See, look at this. They share nothing with Cooler. They literally only have Fierce Battle. Why would they do that? Like, don't they? Like, it's like they... I, I don't know, man. Come on. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's such, a, such a weird choice. Uh, okay, sure. Whatever. Um. Anyway. So, we got a lot of good stuff coming in for this live stream, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, you know, I, people right now are kind of like, eh, Cooler and Goku. But um, I think once those animations drop, it's going to be like, oh my god, Cooler and Goku. So, you do want to keep that in mind. So, thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on this date uh, for the live stream.